Western students interested in art and music have a great local resource to tap into to include an art gallery, art and music studios, and a music venue, all in a safe and healthy environment and music hub called Makeshift. If you're in a band, it's a, you come to the Makeshift. It's such an amazing resource for a lot of people. I think we make a positive difference in a lot of ways. I mean, our mission is to help artists and musicians succeed. And I think we do that. Uh, I'm Kat C. I'm the executive director at Makeshift. So I've been here for about six years. and. The executive director is sort of the, the big umbrella of the whole organization. Uh, I answer to our board of directors like any like you would at any nonprofit. Um, but basically, I'm the manager of all the smaller pieces of makeshift. We had a casserole feed in a side yard of a crappy punk house, and that's that was when makeshift formed. So basically, you know, um, we were all all the people who were founders were either musicians themselves or music fans involved in the scene somehow. And it started with a focus specifically on music, and art kind of came later. You know, Makeshift sort of started with that idea of how can we help musicians have an easier time in the DIY scene, touring, things like that. And all of this came from that. So it, it definitely has changed over the years. You know, we started with a focus on both helping musicians and helping the environment. That was actually our initial um, mission, and so that started with a biodiesel van, with bike-powered generators that powered shows, and we did all sorts of stuff before we finally realized that actually just helping on the most basic levels, like providing a venue, providing a space for all ages people to come see, see music, providing gallery space, providing studios, that that was actually kind of the core of supporting music and art, so, so here we are. We offer internships um, where you can get school credit for like a variety of different things. Other opportunities that you have are to get like, like basically professional experience as a booker, professional experience as a sound person, professional experience doing uh, like managing the art space, the art gallery. Um, there's so many different opportunities that are available to you. It's a good place for exhibiting artists up and coming like myself trying to get their stuff out there. Um, you can contact them and they can usually get you set up with a show if you lay down the money for it. But uh, yeah, no, so it's a, it's a good place. So the show that's up right now is called Transitions and it was a collaboration between uh, Western and Makeshift. And we've actually done Western Makeshift shows several times in the past. So um, we work with the art department. This time it was Seiko, um, an instructor up there. And uh, we do also, in addition to this show, um, which basically, you know, we worked with Seiko to develop the theme transitions. She worked with her students to make sure that they fulfilled all the requirements for hanging and all that. Uh, we also do BFA shows, which is the Bachelor of Fine Arts final show. So um, BFA senior students have to show their work. And before this, you know, you had the VU and you know the other spaces around campus, but there were very few spaces off campus that students could show their work. And on campus is awesome, but having on your resume that you've shown off campus is really valuable. Uh, there's not really anything that holds a candle to makeshift. I mean, um, it's the all ages, it's Bellingham's all ages space. Um, and it's been that for seven years. I'm Robin Codner, and I'm an assistant professor in the biology department at Western Washington University. I work on algae, and I've been working on algae for 15 years, and I've done a lot of different kinds of things with um, algae. I currently mostly study um, marine microalgae, but last year I started a new project working on algae that live in snow. <laughs> 